By the way, a programming note. Ordinarily, the weekend edition is Saturday and Sunday. Uh, today, it's only going to be for Saturday only, and then we're going to have a special edition for Sunday and Monday. It says that God is the only one that can make a valley of trouble a door of hope. I believe in doors of hope. I know that they always come in valleys of trouble, that God always provides. Now, that doesn't mean the doors of hope don't come on good days also. They do. But sometimes when we're downcast, sometimes when we're praying and we, we know that our last resort is that prayer, that is the time that we become more aware to any sign. And we see doors that sometimes we're blind to, open doors, doors that we can go through with God's empowerment and God's help. In John 16, it says, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace, in the world you have suffering, but take courage, I am have conquered the world. Despite God's promises, despite God's love, and despite our countless blessings, we frail human beings can lose hope. We can forget, I often say when I'm speaking around the country, that church is a remembrance society, that we come there to remember and recall that that we already know in our soul. That's why we can shake our head when the minister says something and say, yes, that's true. But saying, yes, it's true, is a whole lot different from saying, yes, it's true about me right now with the situation I'm facing. God gives open doors. God gives hope. But we must be willing to put it on ourselves. That's what putting on the Christ means when it talks in the Bible about that. When we do feel this way, when we feel downcast, we need the encouragement of God. And we also need the encouragement of thoughtful friends. Life-changing power of prayer comes in, and the healing truth of God's Word seals the deal. If you find yourself ever falling into a spiritual trap of worry and discouragement, remember, my friend, the hopeful words of John 16.33. In this passage, Jesus offers the assurance of peace and hope, the Bible quote that I quoted just a minute ago talks about peace for today and hope for your future. Not generic. The Bible is never generic. That is the spiritual quality of the Bible. It takes on the attributes of the reader and it transmutes inside of the reader's mind and body to change them at depth, from center to circumference of their physical being. This world, it can be a place of trials, it can be a place of tribulation, but when we trust in God's promises, when we hold tightly to the hope that we have in God, we feel secure. God has promised us peace, joy, and eternal life, not just after death. That is eternal life in this body, living, your life that you're living. And God keeps God's promises today and tomorrow and forever. Merry Christmas, my friend.